Climate Change in Finland Discuss the climate change issues in Finland. In April 2019 according to police 10,000 people marched for climate peace in Helsinki. Topic: Climate policy. Topic: Climate strategy 2001. Finnish National Renewable Energy Programme was done in 1999 and it was accepted as the National Climate Strategy in 2001. It included targets for the renewable energy but no limit in the use of the fossil and nuclear energy. The target can be compared to the EU Directive 2001-77, EU that also promoted renewable energy in the electricity production. The government ordered the evaluation report, published in February 2003, from the Electrowatt Econo Oi that was part of Poiri. Poiri is a national and international company having tradition in the development and consulting of the forest industry. According to this evaluation report Finland's national target was to increase during 1995–2010. Renewables of primary energy plus 36 TWh achieved 1995 to 2001, 17 terawatt hours. Renewables of electricity plus 8, 35 terawatt hours achieved 1995 minus 2001 to 3, 1 terawatt hour by fuel. Bioenergy plus 33 TWh achieved 1995 to 2001 16 terawatt hours. Bioelectricity plus 6 2 terawatt hours achieved 1995 minus 2001 to 2 8 terawatt hours. Hydropower plus 1 TWh achieved 1995 to 2010 23 terawatt hours. Wind power plus one, one terawatt hour, four hundred and ninety four megawatts, achieved nineteen ninety five to two thousand and one, fifty nine gigawatt hours, thirty two megawatts. Solar energy, fifty gigawatt hours, warming, fifty gigawatt hours, electricity, forty megawatts capacity, achieved nineteen ninety five to two thousand and one, two gigawatt hours, one gigawatt hour, one five megawatts. Heat pumps 1 terawatt hour achieved 1995 to 2001 250 gigawatt hours Topic <inaudible> Finland's National Climate Change Adaptation Plan 2022 The nature and society are strongly impacted by the global climate change and adaptations are needed for this reason Finland implemented a National Climate Change Adaptation Plan for 2022 which aims to handle the risks associated with climate change and adapt to changes in climate for the Finnish society. The goals of the plan are, a adaptation has to be integrated into the planning and activities in different sectors and their stakeholders, b stakeholders need to have access to climate change assessment and management methods and c research and development, communication and education need to improve the adaptive capacity of the society, develop innovative solutions and improved citizens' awareness on climate change adaptation. The aim of the National Climate Change Adaptation Plan is to establish the adaptation for the climate change until 2022. The National Climate Change Adaptation Plan implements the EU strategy on adaptation to climate change within Finland. <laughs> emissions. Finland is a member of the European Union. The EU aims in the 2014 United Nations Climate Change Conference a legally binding 40% drop in emissions by 2030 against carbon output in 1990 as baseline. 
According to Mr. Heike Simel, a Finnish Association for Nature Conservation, Finnish forest management has made Finnish forest and mire ecosystems as a considerable net source of carbon into the atmosphere for decades. In 2016, Finland's carbon dioxide emissions amounted to 58.8 million tonnes, 12.5 million tonnes less than the amount in 1990. However, this figure had resulted from a 6% increase from 2015, nevertheless, it is still 18% lower than in 1990. The largest factors explaining the growth in emissions between 2015–16 were the increase in coal consumption and the decline in the proportion of biofuels used in transport. Emissions grew in some sectors, these sectors include energy, where it went up by 8% or 3.3 million tons of CO2 equivalent, industrial processes, where product use increased by 4% or 0.3 million tons of CO2 equivalent. Emissions from agriculture grew by 1% or 0.04 million tons of CO2. Emissions from transport rose by 1.5 million tons of CO2 equivalent, and from the production of electricity and heat, they rose by 1.4 million tons of CO2 equivalent, approximately 60% of Finland's anthropogenic methane emissions—3.17 mmt CO2e come from agriculture, manure management, municipal solid waste and natural gas and oil systems. A majority of the remainder comes from enteric fermentation. Regional According to Helsinki Region Environmental Services Authority HSY greenhouse gas emissions in Helsinki Region in 2017 were 5 million Tennessee CO2, including transportation 1.4 million Tennessee and heating 2.6 million Tennessee. According to Professor Seppo Junila, climate gas emissions from Helsinki region construction in 2017 were 2 million Tennessee CO2, more than from transportation and almost 1.5 times transportation emissions. Year 2017 climate gas emissions compared to 1990 were in Helsinki 24%, Espoo plus 8%, Vantaa plus 2%, and Kauniainen minus 9%. CA 80% of emissions were from heating and transport. Summary report does not include emissions from air travel and construction nor verify that these emissions were indifferent to climate change. Summary report does not specify domestic industry emissions abroad. E.g. Fordham acquisition of Uniper Germany may increase this company total emissions so meaningfully that foreign emission have importance to climate change. Fortum headquarters is in Espoo, Finland. Topic: Contribution abroad. According to biologist SESSE Koivisto, whose husband contributed in the Helsinki Zoo, Finnish forest company UPM plant is an ecological risk in Uruguay. In November 2017 UPM aims to build the biggest cellulose plant in the world in Uruguay. The plant will use planted eucalyptus forests as raw material. According to SESSE Coavisto, eucalyptus use a lot of water and will contaminate the soil. Concerns include following, is there risk that endemic forest area will decline directly or indirectly because of the new eucalyptus areas? How do the eucalyptus plantations contribute to the carbon sink of nature? Will they promote global warming? <inaudible> <inaudible> Nuclear energy In the Kyoto Agreement Sweden was permitted lower emission decline targets based on nuclear power phase-out. Respectively Finnish emission cut obligations may be increased based on higher nuclear dependency. Fortum is half state-owned energy company. 
Fortum Energy Strategy is large investments in the nuclear energy in Finland, Sweden and Russia. According to Financial Times Fortum aims to invest 15% in a controversial Finnish nuclear power plant to be built by Rosatom, the Russian state-owned energy company. Fortum has saved no funds to invest in the new renewable energy forms. Until end of 2014 Finnish governments have given no obligations in the new renewables for companies, industry or municipals. Russia had interest to build and share own a nuclear plant in Finland in 2014 during the 2014 Russian military intervention in Ukraine and 2014 Crimean crisis. Unlike Finland most other European countries demanded to decline energy dependency from Russia. The Finnish government supports nuclear energy by allocating the majority of the risks, accident costs and nuclear waste costs to the taxpayers. The Finnish nuclear energy is alleged to be risk-free, reporting the same assurance that had been given in Japan before the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster. Finland was among the top five greenhouse gas emitters in 2001. The consumption emissions per capita of greenhouse gases in 2001 of the top five countries were US 29 tonnes, Australia 21 tonnes, Canada 20 tonnes, Switzerland 18 tonnes, and Finland 18 tonnes. Traffic European Union aims in 2014 demanding targets to decline emissions 40% from 1990 level to 2030. In Finnish traffic this goal demands a decline from 12.48 mountain CO2 to 7.4 mountain CO2. As a linear reduction this objective is an annual decline in value of 0.30 mountain CO2 from the top year emission 13.36 mountain CO2 in 2010. This objective equals maximum emission levels of 12.16 mountain CO2 2014 and 11.56 mountain CO2 2016. Finnish traffic warming emissions million tons CO2 were 2012 12.68 In the Katainen cabinet, Minister Merger Killinen asked the leader of the multinational oil and gas company Royal Dutch Shell representative as head of the committee to give recommendations for the future traffic policy in Finland. Jerky Katainen suggested in December 2014 EU to fund in Finland a liquefied natural gas terminal while in respect to climate change challenge and ongoing 2014 United Nations Climate Change Conference Katainen neglected initiatives in fossil fuel phase out. Aviation <inaudible> 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 Aviation using fossil fuels may have large climate change emission at individual level. If a four-person family flies to Thailand, its climate emissions are according to Finnair 15-000-20-000 kg CO2. This is equal to 170,000 km with a car. In most European countries the fuel for planes is tax-free, also in Finland. Thereby Finland lost €63 million Euros tax revenues in 2012. Finland have supported the air fields with €20 million Euros annually. European commercial aviation is supported with €27 billion Euros annually. If European Union would collect 15% VAT from flights in European Union income would be €11 billion. Euros. topic greenhouse gas emissions by sector 
carbon dioxide emissions broken down by Finland's industrial sectors. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Population growth. If everybody consumed like the Finns, we would need 5 Earths. World population grew from 1990 to 2017 in value of 42%. If the population grows, decline of emissions is likely to be even more demanding. Population growth in the biggest Finnish cities from 1990 to 2017 was Espoo 62%, Ulu 48%, Vantaa 44%, Tampere 34%, and Helsinki greater than 31%. International climate change emission statistics ignore construction emissions which may distort development. There are empty houses in the smaller cities but more and more new houses are built in the big cities. <laughs> <laughs> Agreements and law Finland is a member of the EU and thus the EU directives are binding in Finland. Finland has approved Kyoto Protocol. The Finnish government accepts that human-induced greenhouse gases cause the global warming. Despite this the most harmful use of peat as energy has been financially promoted by Finnish government since 2005. Regarding the climate change expenses, the polluter pay principle has been neglected in Finland at least until 2011. Topic: <coughs> Coal and peat. CO2 emissions from peat were 15% and coal and peat 39% of total fossil fuel emissions in Finland in 2006. According to UNEP peatlands are the main carbon storage and their protection is one of the main issues in the climate change mitigation. Peatland drainage destroys the habitat of many species, and heavily fuels climate change. Peat is the most harmful energy source for global warming in Finland. In conflict with the EU, IEA and IPCC reports Finnish Ministry of Trade and Industry claim peat to be renewable energy. However, it is undisputed fact that peat is formed during 10,000 years in favorable conditions. Finland has ditched majority of its wetlands. The Finnish peat companies have had activity also abroad like in Sweden, Estonia and Indonesia. According to IEA Country report the Finnish subsidies for peat in 2007–2010 undermined the goal to reduce CO2 emissions and counteracted the European Union Emissions Trading Scheme. The state-owned research institute VTT director Satu Helenen had close connection with the peat industry in 2010. She proposed for the government to exclude carbon tax for peat in 2010. Moreover, she tried to suppress all the second opinions of her colleagues in VTT in conflict with the freedom of speech and research ethics. After this conflict came public VTT wrote new directions following, scientists should prevent all criticism of the content of VTT publications publicly after the publications. Topic: Consequences. Topic: Temperature. Between March 2019 to 2010, there were 102 days with record daily temperatures reported, clearly more than at any time in the Finnish Meteorological Institute's FMI measurement history. According to FMI temperature patterns show that Finland is experiencing climate change, the annual Finnish mean temperature has risen 2.3 degrees Celsius since the middle of the 19th century. Warming has been greatest in early winter, nearly 5 degrees Celsius. The month of July 2018 in Finland had the highest ever temperatures recorded by the Finnish Meteorological Institute. 
FMI FMI was founded in 1838. Topic: Nature. Climate change brings new southern species to the Aland Islands. In 2012 was found a fly known only in England, Denmark, the Czech Republic and Hungary. Extreme weather events Summer 2010 storms Asta 29, minus 30.7 Vera 4.8, Larger 7.8 and Sylvie 8.8, .8 caused widespread damages. Insurance companies paid €81.6 million Euros for the storm damages. Trees fell 9.1 million cubic metres. 480,000 persons had power line breaks, max six weeks. 35,000 km of the power line was damaged. Compensations costs were over €10 million Euros for the power customers. Other power company costs included €18 million Euros for the repair and $4 million for extra investments. Cooperation between the responsible organizations and persons did not run effectively after the storms. Storm Tarpani hit Finland on St. Stephen's Day in 2011. The previous storm of this type in Finland was Janica in November 2001. The highest momentary gust on land was 31.5 meters per second. On 27 December 2011, at highest over 300,000 homes had no electricity. Finland received a heat wave above plus 30 degrees Celsius in June 2013, at the same period as the 2013 European floods hit. In 2013, autumn storm Aino resulted in over 200,000 homes becoming dark in Finland, ca 10% of families. Maximum wind speed was 27.3 m per second in land and 32.9 m per second in sea. <laughs> Climate change by region Uuzuma <laughs> <laughs> Uuzumaa has set a target of achieving zero carbon emissions by 2050. Loya, Raspori, Cientio and Hanko have target to decline the emissions 80% from 2007 to 2030. In 2013 Uuzumaa emissions were close to year 1995 level and in Uuzumaa there was no decline in emissions since year 2007. Tourism Finland, and especially the northern rural parts of the country, has a variety of nature-based tourism attractions, such as downhill skiing, snowmobiling and dog sledding. Since the 1980s, the Christmas tourism has emerged in Finnish Lapland, as an image of that being a winter wonderland has developed, creating job opportunities but also a tourism which success is depending on cold temperatures and snow. The revenue of the Finnish tourism industry was US$16.2 billion in 2015, and is expected to reach US$18.6 billion in 2020. About 97% of the Finnish population takes part in recreational activities, and about 40% participates in nature based tourism. According to climate change projections, the crucial changes in temperature will occur during the winter, where the predicted warming until 2040 is 1.2 to 5 degrees Celsius. This change in temperature will decrease the number of days where temperature is below zero degrees Celsius, and scientists predict that the date of the first frost will occur 15 to 30 days later than today, while the last frost day will occur 15 to 30 days earlier than today. 
The number of days with snow cover is predicted to decrease to 40 to 60 days at the end of the 21st century where the greatest decrease will happen in the southwestern parts of Finland, compared to today's annual number of 120 in southern Finland 240 in northern Finland days with snow cover. The winter precipitation is predicted to increase, which in short term may lead increasing levels of snow in the northern and central parts of Finland, but long term, it might lead to a diminished snow cover in the entire country. With warmer temperatures, winter precipitation may fall as rain to a greater extent than at present day, which could decrease the snow cover depth and lead to icy surfaces, hindering movement and change the aesthetics of the landscape. A decrease in snow and ice and changes in the quality of the snow, is considered a threat for many nature-based tourism activities, but a shorter winter season is, however, not a threat for all entrepreneurs, such as those arranging downhill skiing. The entrepreneurs arranging snowmobiling and dog sledding, are considered vulnerable since their activities require large areas and plenty of snow. The concept of Finland being a winter wonderland and the home of Santa Claus, has developed a dependency of snowy landscapes among entrepreneurs, building great expectations among tourists. A change in snow quality and a delay in the season where snow is abundant, may lead to a decrease in number of tourists. Response. Topic WWF. According to WWF, binding carbon is equally important as to decline the carbon emissions. WWF recommends in 2018 to save more forests and especially the old forests from energy use in Finland. According to WWF, forests in Finland bind carbon on soil twice as much as the forest trees. According to WWF Finnish agriculture emit soil carbon dioxide 37 million tonnes annually compared to 12 million tonnes CO2 from traffic in 2017. See also Regional effects of global warming Climate change in Sweden